we are guys, Kevin Mabley Fishing Legs in the pod. Doing the overnight there, free till free. Hopefully we can get in there. Rather than just catching a cold. There we have one of the pods, Kevin Mabley. Let's have a little look inside, is it? Not too shabby. Not too shabby. I have been to other lakes and Kevin Mabley's pods are the best ones at the moment. The other one I went to looked like Grandad's uh, back garden shed. Cobwebs everywhere. So as you can tell, I've got my XL Kipper. Lovely bed, massive. And I have got a little bit of a twist on a sleeping bag. Sometimes, as you know, if you have the, uh, the mummy sleeping bags, nightmare. But as for this one, the beast. It is only from Go Outdoors, but if you're one of them ones that can't deal with it, sleeping in the mummy sleeping bag, that's the boy for you. That is the XL bed. The XL Kipper, as you can tell, one big bed. Could have a good night's kip in there, but hopefully not be up fishing all night. Or catching some big ones anyway. And we'll see what the lads are doing there in a bit. And we'll get back to you. I ain't got the best fishing gear, but it'll do. If they're on, they're on. If they're not, as you guys know, they're not on. There you go guys, spying on the lads. Oh, we're waiting for a bite. They had a little bit of argument. One of them caught the fish. Owen on the left brought it in. Because Neil was down the van. So they're having a debate at the moment on whose fish it is. So if you leave a comment down below before Neil on the right ends up beating him up. Let me know in the comments down below what you reckon. If someone reels your fish in, your line in with your rod. And then brings it to the bank. What do you reckon? Is it Owen? Say hello to YouTube, oh! Here's Neil. That's all we ever get to see is a crack of his ass. Neat! Here he is, the main man. Here's the setups. Nothing special. As long as he does the job. Here we are behind the back of the pod. I gotta be fair guys. Can't beat a bit of fishing. Relaxation. Chilling, letting the brain relax. That's the life. Chilling and relaxing. There we go, I'm Mr. Birdie, chilling out round by there. For some reason, then where it's like the birds are not concerned, they seem to come right up, you know. Effing Mabley log cabins at night. <laughs> he's all in fast asleep. Unfortunately, he's one of them early birds, gets up at five o'clock. Go, guys, Cab Mabley in the morning. A little bit rainy, but hopefully today will give us a nice catch. It was freezing last night, there was ice on the, on the rods. Hello, Mr. Birdie. Right this side of the cabin. Welcome up to your feet. Some people say they have fed them. Out their hands.
Well, that's it, guys. That concludes the end of Kevin Mabley fishing. Uh, maybe anyone out there can give me a little tip on maybe their method on what they use. Uh, maybe it's the best method for fishing a Ken Mabley. Um, not too bad. Had a one fish. But if any, like I said, if any of you out there can give us a little tips, leave a message though in the comment section down below. And hopefully we get back to you. Maybe it'll be a little bit more successful next time. And that's from me on my adventures. See you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comments down below. Thank you. Quick question for you uh, professional fishermen out there, or maybe you've had the same experience. I'm just wondering if any of you can tell me why my blow up uh, pillow was wet. Uh, it was wet on the top of the pillow, obviously, and I, well, probably inside, I'm not sure, but the bottom part of the pillow wasn't wet, and obviously it come through a little bit and gone onto my sleeping bag. So I haven't had that experience before. I'm just wondering if any of you guys out there have had the experience, and if anybody of you can let me know, maybe you guys got the answer. Um, and leave a message in the, in the comment section down below, please. Um, I haven't got a clue what it is. I don't think I wet the bed. Obviously, it's upon the pillow. I don't think I was dribbling all night because it was quite a lot. So maybe if any of you guys, like I said, if you've had the experience or maybe uh, you know a little bit more than what I do, if you can just let me know um, and leave a message. Thank you very much.